So I have been getting a lot of comments regarding Steam Deck Windows. Some of them are hard to answer in the comments section. This is because I make a lot of Steam Deck Windows videos. So I will be answering the most common questions. To make it more engaging, on this screen I will be showing the questions so you can do them on your Steam Deck to make you Windows on the Steam Deck much better. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so let's start with our first question here, which I get a lot. Um, which Steam Deck dock do you use? Um, I've recently switched to this dock from Kiwi Home. I love it because it has a button on the back which allows you to cut off all the connections to the Steam Deck, instantly ejecting all the peripherals safely. As you can see here, with the press of a button, they have been ejected. So let me tell you more about why I got this one. Firstly, it has a very solid design, and I like the smooth housing they made for the deck so it could sit there safely without getting scratched. I also like the functionality of the buttons, though I don't know if it's possible to remap it to any other function. If anyone is a PC expert, please let us know in the comments below. One of the main reasons I got it is because it has the support for two displays at the same time, so an HDMI and a display port. You also get a USB-C, three USB-A ports, and an Ethernet port for gigabit Ethernet. I like they also added anti-friction rubber points. These make it almost impossible for the dock to slide on any surface, so your deck stays safe. Also, the USB cable is at the 90 degree angle, so it connects to your Steam Deck correctly and safely. Our second question is, how do you do the onboard keyboard by simply touching the screen? I get this question a lot. Even my friends have asked me about this, and I've seen on Reddit. So just follow what I do on my deck. You need to go to the start menu and type the word typing. Click the first option that shows up in the search. After that, this window will pop up. You need to click the first option, which is touch keyboard. After that, from drop down, select the last option, which will automatically display the keyboard whenever you touch somewhere where you can type. And that will solve your problem. Okay, so our next question is, when I use handheld companion, why does it disable the Steam trackpad input? Even when Steam is open because of this, I have to use lizard mode, which is annoying to turn on and off. I also can't even use the left trackpad as a scroll wheel because of it. Okay, so here is your solution, but it will not solve the scrolling left trackpad issue. You need to first open handheld companion. Here you need to make sure to stop the service and that it has finished stopping. Then you need to click where it says hotkeys. Now you need to scroll down until you find lizard mode and lizard button mode. Click on each and choose any button combination to them. This makes your problem much more manageable because you can turn on and off the lizard modes. Also set a shortcut to suspend the service so it doesn't affect Steam games. The next question is asking if there is any FIFA lag and stutter. So this solution I will present works on many games, not just FIFA. So first of all, FIFA can only be played on Windows 10, not Windows 11. Secondly, if you play it out of the box just like that, there will be some lag, but it is so easily solved. All you need to do is follow what I do on the screen. So go to Windows File Explorer and on the left side, find where it says this PC, then here right click on this PC and then go to properties. So after the window has opened on the right side, click on advanced system settings. This will open a new window. Now find where it says performance and click settings under that. Now a new window opens, click on advanced. There you will see it says virtual memory. For me, it says 10,000 for you. It will say 2000. So make sure to click change and then set the maximum and minimum values to then thousand and restart your Steam Deck for changes to take effect. Now enjoy a better performance because your games will run so much better. Next question is about AMD controls. The question says, I have been trying but can't get that version to work. At least with the newest app drivers released March 28th, can you zip this version you used and upload it so I can download it directly rather than dealing with AMD site? So, the solution is simple here. There is no need to zip anything. I have always been updating the description of my AMD controls video to the latest compatible version. The link I put in the description is compatible with the latest Steam Deck driver updates. Just follow the same method from this video and use the link in the description. If you get any errors while the setup, press ignore and you're good to go. Okay, so now on to the next question. This one is simple but essential. How do you move from in-game to desktop menu when playing games on Steam Deck using Windows 11? So now we have GTA V running there on my Steam Deck and I will show you how to switch to desktop while you're in-game. It is very simple. All you need to do is swipe up twice from the bottom and you will be on desktop. Unfortunately, this isn't available for Windows 10. Okay, so let's answer our next question here, which states... Could you explain what exactly happens when installing Windows? Does SteamOS gets removed as soon as Windows is installed? 
When I install Windows, do I have the opportunity to switch to it via switch to desktop mode, or is it only a Windows-only device after installation? So to answer your first question, yes, when you install Windows, Steam OS gets deleted. You will have desktop mode Windows on Steam Deck without Steam OS. It will only show desktop Windows. There will be no more Steam OS, though you can install Steam OS Launcher on Windows. It is worth noting you can also dual boot by running both Steam OS and Windows. Just YouTube it and go to this video. It's the best one put there. Now, next question is Windows 10 or Windows 11? Which one do you recommend? Okay, the short answer is I recommend Windows 11. The long answer is Windows 10 is also good and has an advantage over Windows 11, which is running FIFA 23. However, Everything else about Windows 11 is better. It is smoother, more responsive, better for touch, and will make your life easier. So if you're installing Windows, my personal recommendation is Windows 11. Okay, so the next question is, Valve released new APU driver. Do you know what it does? So the ANSI is, after the update, in my experience, many games for me ran better, like Warzone, which still ran at 40 to 50 FPS, ran generally better without stuttering. I have also noticed improvements in games such as Red Dead Redemption, Halo Infinite, and also Apex Legends. So it seems to have smoothed out the performance rather than increased frames per second. Another thing is... They added support for more than one external screen. Our last question for today is, do you have to remove SWICD to install Handheld Companion? The answer is definitely yes. This is stated clearly on the Handheld Companion GitHub. I have tested what it is like to install both at the same time. It totally broke my controls, and I couldn't get my controller to work on anything after that. I had to reinstall Windows to get rid of the, uh, the problem. So please make sure you uninstall SWICD completely from your device before installing Handheld Companion. So that's it from me, guys. If you liked this type of video and you want me to continue to do them, please comment comment below or give me some feedback. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe and peace.